A Markov transition between two particular states always occurs with the same probability, but in a reward process, a numerical value is also produced. This reward value captures what is valuable to the process, so if the states represent the configuration of a game board, the reward could correspond to winning and losing. If the states represent a data center server utilization, the reward could be money earned from customers. And if the states represent a chemical reaction, the reward could be the quantity of output. While the starting state may imply an immediate reward, what happens after is less obvious. Our goal is usually to know what to expect for the sum of all future rewards. Each time a state transition occurs, only one of the possible reward values is produced. The transition function tells us the probability for every reward associated with S and S prime. Its sum over the rewards recovers the state transition function. The average reward function represents what we'd expect to receive when observing this transition repeatedly. For the example I've drawn, there are only three rewards to add up. For a terminal state, the only reward is zero, as is the average. Since it is a probability distribution, the sum of the transition function over all R and S prime is one. With both the average reward and state transition function, we can calculate an exact solution for expected total reward, but we need the full transition function to do that. Sometimes we don't know this function, but we may be able to extract information from it like a black box or simulator. Here, we provide a state and get a sample of the next state and reward. Over time, these samples can be used to estimate a solution.